Last session, we started to create a maze with a little octopus going through uh, some blue maze. So we're going to continue from there. Uh, once you are on snap.berkeley.edu, you're going to, to hit run snap now. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to log in using your username and password. And once you're logged in, you are going to go back into the cloud or the, the file, sorry, and then open the, your maze file. That should be on the cloud or sometimes um, you save it locally. In my case, I saved it on the cloud, so I'm going to reopen this. Okay, so I have um, this little icon that I'm going to put on the side. So this is where we are right now. We have an octopus that can go through the maze and this is the, the code for the octopus. What we would like to do is that um, every time the octopus actually touches the wall, it should lose some health. So, and then if it's gone, the health has gone down all the way to zero, then the game is over. So what's the health? Well, the health, what we call it, um, we call it a variable. So we need to store that health points into some variable so that we can change it and we can check if it's more than zero or not. So to do that, we're going to hit variable. We're going to create a new variable that we're going to call health. It's for all sprites because um, everybody could affect the health of our player. If you want it to be for the sprite only because you have several players and everybody has their own health, then you can do that. But for the purpose of this game right now, we're just going to say it's for the for all sprites. Okay, so the thing that we want to make sure is that once we start the game, the health is not at zero, but it has some positive value. Um, I'm going to set in the stage an additional little code. Now you can see the health appearing over here and you can drag the set block and set the health to, you know, I don't know, I'm going to put it 50. I'm very generous. I want to make sure that we have plenty of, of lead way and we can still bump against the wall um, pretty often before we get there. Um, you can, you know, give only 10 points. That's really up to you. I'm going to return to uh, the, the code of the uh, octopus of the player. And basically it's over there that every time I'm touching the wall, I should reduce my health. So you can do that by saying change health by negative one. And then you're going to want to put it everywhere you're actually having some code saying, oh, you're touching the wall. All right, so let's try this. You always want to test your code every time you have changed it. So I have the octopus and you can see the health is at 50 right now. And then purpose I'm going to, and you see I'm touching the wall and it has reduced the health. I only have 46 health points. Oh, I'm touching it again to be careful and I get to the exit exit door and you remember when we get to this exit door we are being reset to the same position where we started okay so it seems to work now it's your turn 